Hi there everybody, it's me Cassie. I accidentally forgot to put my sound on for this part, so this is going to be just a little voiceover <laughs> at the beginning. Uh, but we are at Engine Room. I am wearing a bunch of stuff from this event, um, and it's just so exciting. I had so much fun recording this event, uh, but right now I'm just kind of showing you what I'm wearing. Um, the gun is from... Oh my gosh, I'm going to tell you it later. I... Uh, <laughs> I, I completely forgot now, but this outfit, the top is from Ursh, the shorts and the garter are from uh, Elieva. <laughs> and then here I am showing you guys the actual sim itself. It is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, they did an amazing job texturing this. It's like a Tim Burton meets, like, I guess Willy Wonka Tim Burton did do the remake of that, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But it's just so cool. Like, all of it. It's like a steampunk, aether theme punked event. And there are just so many amazing... Oh, I, I derped there, right there. Okay. There's just so many different cool stuff at this event. And it's it's so flexible. There's a lot of stuff that's more like uh, like steampunk. There's stuff that can also work for fantasy. There's some stuff that can work for every day. Like right here, this chase from Hextraordinary. I, t I did the vendor ad for that. And it's just so pretty. There's a really gorgeous purple version too. And I started going in a tour over here early instead of starting where I should have in the sponsor area. So <laughs> this is me just kind of camming around and derping. That's like Bawork 22769. And we're slowly coming back. Okay. But anyways, this event just opened up two days ago. It's also their anniversary, so there are going to be a ton of gifts around the sim. If you see those little blue cubes, that's how you know what is a gift, and they are free. Just join the Second Life Syndicate group. It is free to join. If you just click on it, it'll say this is the wrong group, and it'll show you which one to join. So there's a bunch of really cool gifts. If you look on their website, um, you can see uh, every single thing on there, the gifts as well as the every item that's here so if you don't really feel like watching my video click the link in the description below you can watch it there instead um also novata sl did a video showcasing all of the free gifts as well she's really good about doing that so i will make sure to link that to you as well because i love her videos we don't talk as often as we used to but i really love her channel in general and i love that she's blown up so much i always recommend her to like any events that are looking for vloggers um but anyways okay so uh the gun and the bullet are both uh, from this event. These boots are Eudora. They're also at this event and they are a sponsor. Um, my feet were in the ground and I never fixed it because I'm annoying like that. The gun itself has like six bento animations in it. It is so cool. Uh, let me let me tab back and see if I can find the name of it. Uh, I'm so wondering now. Okay. Uh, let's 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 see. I'll collapse my inventory while I'm talking about all this stuff. It's just so cool. Like I've been having so much fun with all of the items and um, I just really hope you guys come check this out too. It's from Val uh, apostrophe more V A L apostrophe M O R E and it's called the prototype. Okay. So let me go back to my screen cause I closed up to look at it, but I'm just showing you guys more of my outfit and stuff. The hair is from Bon Bon and the hat is completely optional. So it's just so cool. And I'm wearing the Legacy Perky Body. The top itself from Ursh is only for Legacy, but it still fit the Perky Body pretty fine. Okay, so now when we go to this little center area, look, just look how cool it is. It's so awesome. Um, you can see that they have like a little uh, roleplay sim sponsors around the board too. So right here we have the SLS website where you can get all of their uh, social media links and stuff. It's also on Seraphim and Grid Affairs. And then we are going to be looking at a few of the roleplay places. So this one right here. Um, okay, why don't you zoom back in, Cassie? Come on. Come on, Cassie. So this one is a like a D and D type sim itself. They have tabletops and dice, and you can actually play there too. Like you'll see a store here that actually has like little pieces for it. This one is like a Final Fantasy one. Uh, I haven't checked it out yet, but it, maybe it's the one that has the Final Fantasy clothes that I used to get forever ago. There's Lore, Realm of New Vale. I checked that out. It's a really pretty sim. I just didn't stay there because there was someone that didn't want me there, and it's completely fine, so I left. We also have the Wastelands. If you ever want to take really cool like photos in the desert and stuff, I definitely recommend this sim. Uh, it's really awesome, like very post-apocalyptic, and then they have it where you actually have to like uh, hunt and... Uh, survive. Like, I love survivalist stuff. I've never been able to do it well. I always cheat. But then we also have Chronicles of Waterdeep. And I've heard a lot of great things about this. It just overwhelms me so much with all the rules that they have and how you have to do, sorry, sweet girl, how you have to do um, 
like a lot of stats and stuff. Like, it's pretty much like D&D as well. So it's a little overwhelming. But anyways, those are the stores. And now we are going to jump in the video any moment now. <laughs> okay, let's get going. So much better. So first up we have Cerberus Crossing or CX, CXing, however you like to call it. And it looks like we have a scythe. It is called the Reforged Reaper. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. I just wanted to show you guys how they look. And I'm probably going to just fangirl over every single item. I was already in the blogger room, so I know how cool everything is. Or hopefully it loads properly. We have Wicca's wardrobe over here too. And we have some really cool uh, hats. If you like steampunk or like cyberpunk, anything in general, they are really good about that. And I feel like they don't get like enough like um, traffic to them. They need more of it. Their stuff is so good. Uh, Wicca's originals. Wicca's wardrobe was before they started making their own mesh themselves. And now they do that. So now they're Wicca's originals. It's just so cool. I love it. And you can see right here, I think these little blue things are the gifts. I could be wrong. Maybe they're not. But they look like it. They look like the special... Yes! Right here. So if you see these, these are the little gifts. Um, I'm not sure if you have to be... Yeah, you have to be in the SLS group, which is free to join. You just go right up here. View profile. I'm already in it, so I can grab it if I want, but it's... Wait, maybe not. What is this? How do we grab this? Is it for anyone? Maybe it's for anyone. Let's click it. Wrong active group. To get the gift, please join the Second Life Syndicate. Okay, so this is the one that you join. Okay, <laughs> here it is. I'll leave the group URL in the description below. All you got to do is just copy and paste it into local and you'll find it. Or just search or just click and it'll show you what it is. You can just join. I have a bunch of people in it already. Everybody's really friendly too, and they're very helpful. So you can get a bunch of gifts from there. And again, go check out Nevada SL's video if you want to see all the gifts up close, because they will review them all, and they are awesome like that. We have over here... I'm so happy they did the K-pop video too, because like mine, I don't think, like did any justice. I had fun with it, but what is this store called? I'm trying to read it, and I'm struggling. Roser Goldel? Roser Goldel? Rose? Roser Regalia. Okay. Roser Regalia. And then they have like bento wings, which is really cool. Oh, cool. They have like a tangible version that you can actually look at. Let's zoom in. Ooh, I love the coloring on that. That's really neat. Anyways, I said I wasn't going to cling to stuff. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> we have Bella Poke over here, and I'm obsessed with Bella Poke. I I love their stuff. And they have a really cute, like, peplum dress, and it's 25% off. It fits Maitreya and Legacy, and I've been wearing Legacy now. I'm obsessed with it, so I'm very happy to see that it's a Maitreya and Legacy fit. I can wear it for both. I would definitely, I don't know if I'd do camo, but I would definitely do, like, the main colors down there at the bottom. We have cubic cherry. I always love when they do body implants. So here we have right over here, we have the delicatessa. Oh, look at that. It's like, uh, you can see like all the like little wires and like LED lights on the inside. How pretty. Oh, that's so cool. I don't think it's LED. I think it's supposed to be like, um, oh, what is that one type of lighting? Oh, frack. The ones in Frankenstein. You'd, yeah. Anyways, uh, I don't know. But this comes, these arms are for, what sizes? Let's see. Oh, female and male. Um, each one comes with an unrigged arm cap. They fit most mesh bodies. Just make sure to try demos first. I love their sign. Everything's resing in so cleanly. Like, they did such a good job with this venue. It looks so nice. As I approach one that isn't resting yet, it's okay. It'll resin soon. Let's pause it. Okay, so it looks like we have POE, or Process of Elimination. Like, their last thing was really cool. I think it was a suit at the last one. This, uh, like a trench coat suit. I could be wrong, but this one we have, uh, like a cyberpunk suit. Let's get it to resin. Not cyber. Each uh, This. It looks really cool. It kind of makes me think a little bit of, like, Overwatch, which is, I've never played it, but, um, like, this, the armor in general on the right. And I like that it fits different types of bodies, too. I love that it has, like, the paw versions, too. Like, that's really cool. 
<laughs> they even have suggestion box, and you can try the demo as well. That's that's so neat. I wish more stores did that too, especially like do more stuff for does, please. The sweet thing does, please. Yes. <laughs> Okay, over here we have Eliava. I can already tell it's their stuff. This is the Regius attire preview. Look how cool this is. Oh my gosh, I love how high the neck goes. It almost makes you think of like an untied uh, straight jacket. <laughs> how neat. Who do we have here? Oh, yes, I meant to put this on with my outfit and I completely forgot. This is Cosme. I really like uh, their stuff as well. I think they're the ones that also have the tattoos, like the golden tattoos. Let me see. So I know I own some stuff from them. Yeah, the uh, uh, Kintsugi cracks. They're really cool. It's like gold and silver all over, like tattoos. They're really neat. Um, but... There's are these glasses as well as this really cool eye patch. This is what I wanted to wear. It makes me think a lot of the uh, woman from Kill Bill. I can't think of the name right now. I brain fart so badly. Yay, fibro. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, we have Reliquary. It looks like we have some uh, Plague Doctor masks, but they're really cool. They have like neon lights going on with them. Oh, how neat are these? These are really cool. Special edition only just for uh, this event, it looks like. And it is the esteemed fumigator visage. Uh, and then there's also a standard version as well. So we have two different types. Okay, I said I wasn't going to pause that much, but I'm pausing a lot. Sorry about that. Let's get to the next one. Over here we have... Oh, these are the Eudora 3D boots that I, uh, I'm wearing right now. They're so cool. I love that they have the little blades up here. And I'm just wearing them in black right now. There's like three different versions, I think. Maybe four. 12 color version pack pack. That fat pack. Oh my gosh. But if we go in here, let me just show you what it looks like if you get the fat pack. Or at least it looked like that for me. So there's black one, two, three. Uh, and it just seems like there's other versions of it as well. Um, and I'm not quite sure why. I think it is because with and without the blade or different versions of the blade I'm not sure but it's legacy in Maitreya and that makes me very happy you could probably still try and fit it on other bodies and see how it fits you you never know um, but it fits like a dream on legacy and then we have Gabriel over here and let's see oh how cool is that what is it though is it like the top or just that thing on the shoulder or what both yeah it's both there's a full outfit over here Looks like they come in several different colors. Like it looks like you can also change the color of the vest. And then we also have, I don't think this is a new release. It's the outfit that's new. And then this is something they already had that they're adding. And it's like this little like tinkering arm thing. <laughs> I'm not good at explaining what it is. You can like see little gauges and pumps on it and stuff. How neat. Okay. 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 Did we do, why is this one sticking out on its own? Are they all like that? Where they kind of stick out? Like there's a second layer? Maybe. Let's keep going in here though. Okay. Who are you? Who is this? Okay. This is the conductor and it is from Nephilim Tattoos. Oh my gosh. Oh, so this is a tattoo? I thought this was like, um, uh, Oh yeah, it is a pliers. That's really cool. I thought it was like an actual meshed outfit. It looks really neat. I like how shadowed it is over it. It does say to make sure you demo it. It was drawn for uh, Beleza, so make sure it fits. Like demo it first to see how it fits you. I'll probably give it a go and see how it fits since I have the blogger copy. So that's really neat. Oh, look how cool those wings are over there. I know those aren't the main items, but they're really cool. So this is static, and they have some uh, compass. Like a compass rose right here. These are the Aether Compass. And let's see. Handheld Needle Points SL North. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I like that a lot. So no matter what you're facing, it'll actually like turn north. Oh, that's so neat. And they have larger versions, but they also have the smaller version, like the actual size. Look how detailed that is. Oh, I love that. I'm going too slow again. Okay, next one. Did we do this one? No. This one is, is it Contraption? Yes. 
So this is their exclusive right here, and it looks like we have a lingerie du doctor. It's like a doctor's greenhouse. 15 uh, by 8 by 8 size. 17 lane impact. That's great. I wonder what the uh, VRAM is. Let's see. And then come back for half time to see our new exclusive. Oh, there's going to be another one halfway through this event. That's really cool. Oh, it's all linked, so I can't just check this one thing. So it's probably going to be pretty high just showing it here. Well, really, if it's that high plus all this stuff linked, that's actually not that bad for a full building. Plus all this 72,000 VRAM and the triangles weren't too crazy. That's awesome. Okay. Here I am again over here, and let's go on to the... I want to know what these edge ones are, because there's some that aren't, like, against the wall. They're just kind of there. So let's do these first so I don't forget them. Wait, there's a second floor, too? Oh, my God. Ah, oh, it's a lot larger than I thought. Okay, so this is DM, so Devious Minds, and it looks like we have a gacha over here, like a little steampunk girl outfit. Um, Let's see. They also have some other ones up here, like other outfits. Duchess and stuff like a lot of really cool dresses and does it say what sizes these come in or is it just Maitreya or what? Yeah, for Maitreya Lara. These are really cute. I like the legs a lot. I think those might be my favorite part. The little boots with the frills. <laughs> like apple bottom jeans. <laughs> Steampunk version. Okay, who is this? Who is this? Hot dog! Oh, Hayden stuff! I love Hayden Dragon, he's so sweet. And then you see this, the porcupine jacket, just covered in blood and rust and spikes. That's amazing. And I like that it is unisex too, so it'll fit to Jake, Signature, Slink, Maitreya, Slink, and Freya. So that's very neat. And oh my gosh, it looks crazy. A bunch of different colors too. Do we have any more like this? Let's see. I want to do these first, and then we'll go around the full outer perimeter. Ah! Oh, oh no! There is one though. Let's let's get to it from here. I thought there was. Am I blind? I could have sworn I just saw it. Here it is. Okay. Cam, please. Okay, so we have Ex Machina. And let's see what we have here. It looks like we have a telescope. An observatory telescope. I wonder how large it actually is. It would be cool to see. I wonder if they have like a demo area or maybe they have it in their main store. Oh yeah, teleport to see demo. So you can just go down there and see it there. But yeah, if it's like that, that means it's going to be a lot larger. Let's let this resin. So, Tomba Telescope. A rotate mechanism for easy positioning of the telescope. Telescope can be separated from the base. Advanced lighting model enabled. And you can already see like the materials on it, which is really cool. Shows Pluto in the special screen, of course. <laughs> Pluto's still a planet always, forever for me. Oh, how neat! That is really cool looking. And then you can tell like there's a glass in there, and then if you go in... Oh, maybe not. I can't see inside. Okay, but it looks really cool. You guys gotta come check it out yourself. It's really detailed. And they have a gift as well. And we have another one over here. Let's zoom on over. Let's see what we have. And this is... Ooh. This is... Ravendale? Is that who it is? Rivendale? Come on. Yeah. Rivendale. And what do we have here? Uh, steampunk accessories. Okay. Um, oh, they're all exclusives. That's why. Okay. So we have like a mask, a, a mouthpiece right here. And has, like a little like breathing thingy. I can't think of words right now. A breathing apparatus, I suppose. And then what's over here? We have goggles. These make me think of that one movie, was it called Seven or Nine? I think it was called Nine. It was like a little sack doll, and like I think they were like an explorer or, uh, yeah, inventor. This is neat. A lot of really cool stuff. Okay. Any others over here need to check out before we move on to the walls? Let's see. I don't want to miss anyone. Nope, because I'm right here. Okay, so... Now let's go right on back to the beginning where we are, and we are going to go clockwise. Yeah, for me it's clockwise. Cool. 
So let's start over here and we'll let stuff res in. Ooh, these are cool. So these are D1, DI1 shoes full pack. And who are these by? Haro, H-A-R-O. And they have like Converse, but then they also have like uh, like a metal uh, bracer on the bottom. So they have like the rubber part, all this stuff that's normally on like a high top. And then they just have like this whole extra level of like a platform with metal on it. That's so funny. <laughs> it's pretty cool too. Very creative. Over here we have, is this Raven Bell? Yes. So we probably have either hair or a hat. Oh, it's both. How cool is that? This is called an Evangeline. And I love the little bow in the back. And then I like that their stuff is normally pretty unisex as well. Um, and it is not a full hairstyle. It is made to be worn with hats. So it's cool that you can wear it without this hat. You can have your own hat. And let's see. Let's see how it looks up close. Their texturing is pretty nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's really cool. It kind of makes me think of the underside of a mushroom. <laughs> how it looks right there. <laughs> Like the meats of the mushroom. Okay, who's over here? We have Saka. Suck it to me, Saka, Saka, Saka. Okay, so our exclusive is right down here, and it looks like we have some Rusty Eye. Is this an exclusive as well? No. So let's go right up here and look. And it looks like we kind of have another... Okay, yeah, they're like uh, little eyepieces as well. Oh, there's a nail septum for free. But what would you call it? I already forgot because someone else already had it too. An eye patch. Eye patch. But it like hangs on the nose and around the ear instead of going all the way around. That's neat. That's really cool. I really can't word today. This is a bad day for me to do a video when I have no idea what I'm saying for most of this video. Okay, so this is the top I'm wearing. This is Ursh. Um, it comes... Uh, as an option with this skirt, I wore it without it. Ooh, I like that thing over there on the left. That's cool. I'm going to have to check out their store. Ooh, I like that too. Messiah. But this is called Cassette. And it, it's really neat. I have the fat pack version of it, so I made everything silver and black. And then the skirt is optional if you want it. You can have it as opaque or transparent. Um, and it fits Legacy, Freya, and Lara. Um, it doesn't have Legacy Perky, which is fine. That's what I normally have been wearing now. But um, the Legacy itself fits fine. It just gives me bigger boobies, which is okay. I can I can handle that, I think. <laughs> Let's go to Hilted next. Yay! Okay. Okay, so we have Hilted, and we have, like, this cute little doggo pet, it looks like. But it's, like, made out of uh, completely machine parts and has little wings. Uh, and a mesh shoulder flip. Shoulder pet. <laughs> I wanted to say Flappy at the same time because it's called Little Flappy. <laughs> it's just so cute. They're really good with their animesh if you ever want to check them out. Um, and it's uh, oh cool. They have it like the large size, and then down here you can also see the animesh pet size. But in general, I did a video about their store. I they are so sweet as well as their creative. Their items are so creative. So definitely check them out. They're very human and fur friendly, and then they do have an adult section as well. Okay. Who do we have here? Let's see. Let's zoom, zoom, zoom in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom, boom. Ooh, this is pretty. I might have to grab this and send one to Bryony as well now that she's been logging in. I know that's not the new item, but it's really pretty. I went uh, to the itty bitty titty event the other day, and because I got the Legacy Perky, I wanted to get some stuff that fit it. And this is how I found out about Stargazer. So they have like these cute, um, it's all specular instead of like an actual tangible tattoo. So whenever you have advanced lighting on, you will see this glow on your body, which is really neat. You can move your, the sun around and stuff and you can see it show on different parts. It's really neat. So I definitely recommend this. And then they're also at Itty Bitty Titty Committee and like they have like a discount and um, they have all different types. I got like mermaid scales and like um, an astrological one. It's really neat. Okay. Who do we have here? Who are you? Eclectica. So it looks like we have a building here. Let's just zoom right on down to it. It's steampunk kitchen and sink. A bunch of really nifty stuff. Oh my gosh. They almost look like um, the brewery stuff. Like these fridges over here. Like if you wanted to like brew beer. 
How neat. My depth of field is a mess. Let's fix this. Let's lower our, oh, not our F number, our focal length. There we go. How cool, though. Better ridges, better chill. I love the fan and stuff, too. This is all really detailed, and I like that there's, like, a little spigot for a bucket, so, like, when it's full, you have to, like, toss it. That's so neat. Okay. Oh, and it opens. That's really cool. I think neat is my new word for 2020. Instead of cute or pretty, it's neat. Live. We have live next, and it looks like we have some tattoos. These look really cool. These are Brie tattoos, Bri. Filigree accented doll sections. Ooh, I love how it looks around the rib cage. That's really neat. Fresh faded or worn versions included Omega, Vegas on Mesh, and Legacy. Ooh, I have to get that too or wear it. Who is this? This is Schoenfreude. I love Schoenfreude. And we have a vampire hunting kit. That is there. They have two exclusives, so they have that as well as the vampire flask. Includes open clothes uh, plus cap, body separate, one land impact, and then this one up here is two land impact. You can open and close it. You have all the items come out too. That's really neat. Oh, that's so cool. I like the rosary too. The rosary beads all in there. Okay, who's this? Let's see, see, see. We have so much to cover still. I'm trying to hurry. So we have a gacha over here, and this is something bad wolf. Accessories and co. Uh, let's see. Bad wolf gacha. Okay. Bad wolf. Then. <laughs> and let's see. We have Elio the robot, and it is a shoulder and a mesh pet. There's one animation. You can turn the sound on and off. So we just have these little tinker bots. They're really cool. I like the number seven right there, the little rusty orange one. It might be my favorite. Okay, over here we have Rich B. Oh, let's pause. Okay, so from Rich B we have the Madam Earrings. And they look like little cogs of uh, butterflies. I think they're butterflies. Yeah, like Madam Butterfly. I think that's probably why they're called that. Oh, how cool. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Next one. Ah, oh, I keep hitting that. Ah! Okay, at least it's, no, okay. No, let me pause. Oh, here we go, okay. Hot Dog just wanted to say hi again. So we have Zivska over here, and it looks like we have, like, planetary rotations. So if you want, like, the universe to revolve around you, now you can do that right here with Zivskas. So, does it have Pluto on here, too? Eight planets plus Pluto and time frame. Pluto should be part of the planet. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, so five color sets for metal and planes. How cool. I like that, like, the top part. Is it, like, supposed to be, like, the sun and the moon? Or, like, it'll have, like, different shades? Or I don't know. But it's really cool. I, I don't know if I could ever pull it off. I always think of Lily Cross whenever I think of Zipska stuff now. I feel like they just pull it off amazingly. They were on my show, Dressed to Impress, a few months ago. I haven't done shows in so long. Sorry, guys. Finally, slowly getting back into it. Maybe I will do a roleplay themed one coming up soon. That in Interior Design Wars. But don't hold me to it. I suck. Uh, <laughs> anyways, we have uh, Petricor now. I wish they still had... Like, I don't know why they changed it. Petricor? Pe Petricor? Petricor? Um, but this used to be the plastic. And now it is this. So they have the eye system. And then they also have some pipe lights. Like candelabras, but they're pipes. And then down here, they also have some more eyeballs and uh, some scales. So they rebranded themselves. Their stuff is still amazing. I'm just going to have to get used to calling them the new name <laughs> instead. Because it's just automatic. I, I, I think the plastic. I've been going there since I was first and second life. So, okay. We have Friday. So we have their boots. They have a gacha there that's on sale. And then we have Lilith braces here from Friday. How cool. Who does it fit? What does it fit? Uh, sized for Maitreya Lara. Okay, good to know. But it doesn't cover the fingers, so I would still demo it and see how it fits. That's just me. It might not fit, but it doesn't hurt to give it a go. We have Silvery K over here. And this was really cute, too. It was hard to decide between this and 
the Ursh top on which one to wear for the video today. So they have a full outfit for this. They have these little ruffle tops. They also have skirts. And it looks like they have like a little gunslinger belt for it. Oh, so cute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess I could have worn the shorts with it. I didn't know they were separate. Oh, I love it. Let's see what's over here. We have Nerdy Birdie up here. And let's see. Table demo is not to scale. Ooh, so it's like a D&D &D table. So we have the tabletop itself as well as a bunch of dice. And let's look in. Cool. That is good to note that it's not to scale that way. You're not expecting a little coffee table and then you just get like, boom, a dining table. I love how the gold looks right there too. That's very regal. Makes me think of the FMD video I did recently with how their stuff looks. Cubic Cherry? No. Who is this? This isn't Cubic Cherry. This is, uh, I shouldn't assume. We already did Cubic Cherry, didn't we? Yes. This is Human Glitch, and this is Best to Be Steampunk, Wrist Steampunk. Human Glitch, Rest MPK. So I think STMPK. Yeah, like Steampunk. But we have a bunch of like leathery things and it definitely looks like it holds perky because of those nips so rigged for legacy perky only so that's good to know as well make sure you try demo if you want i know legacy does do like the uh mod fit thing i don't know if it adjusts for like out exterior to like legacy stuff fits other people i think it's only like matreo will fit it i have no idea but okay Ooh, ooh, we have uh tf tristan stuff and this was this was really cool looking. I like their stuff a lot. I'm wearing a bunch of their pliers, I think, right now. <laughs> These are all my bakes on mesh. Um, but I'm wearing a few things. Yeah, TF, BBY. I had more for my pirate, but I took them off. It was like body hair and stuff. Oh, TF. They have like this really cool like sunken look going on with them. Uh, I wish I could... Ma Machinist? Machinist? I don't, yeah, <laughs> but it's really cool. Like it looks like they have like implants in their back, and you can see like the ribs and stuff. It's almost close to like gills. It's really cool. I love it. I I own so much of their stuff. <laughs> okay, so we have apricot paws over here. I was a little sad because um the it wasn't working the blogger room, so I'm probably gonna buy it later. Cause look how cute this is. Oh, I love it. Um, and I love that there's like a little ribbon in the back and, and like the little pantaloons are just, oh my gosh. So it fits Legacy and Perky, Maitreya and VTech. It's so cool because when I first found out about apricot paws, they mostly just did like, uh, anthropomorphic shapes. So it's kind of cool to see them changing and stuff. It would be cool if they still did anthropomorphic for this too, and then I could wear it on Sunday, but it's still so neat and I'm, oh, I love it. I'm probably going to grab the fat pack later. We have AG over here. And it looks like we have another like steampunk style dress, as well as wings as a backpack. Oh my gosh, how neat is that? I just want to like fly around with this thing. I wonder if you can close it up and just hold it like a suitcase too and act like it's nothing. And then like when you're ready to go, you just like click it open and just fling yourself off. <laughs> okay, the white crow. Let's see. So we have a cane for the white crow. Uh, let's see. Let's let it res full in, res in fully. So it looks like they have like little ravens on them. They have three different meshes. Original design, unrigged unisex cane, two canes, two standard animation, one hit, one poke. Oh, cool! So you can actually hit people with them. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, who's this over here? This is Forge. Yeah, I think it's the Forge. And we have some masks. So these are the Nomad masks. And then down here we also have, looks like the older items where we have armor and also uh, like a gas mask. That's really cool too. Everybody just is so good. Like I can never like, I'm, I'm so bad with words the moment I have to like use them. <laughs> They're just gone. This is like a little coverall for the top. Kind of like, like an accent robe. I don't want to say uh, Borolo, bur I don't know. I can't. I can't think of words. But what do they call it? Let's see. Cape lit. That makes more sense. I really like that though. I kind of want to see how it looks in person. So I might have to open this and try it out. And this is from Anti Natural. So that's a combination of Careless and I think Subpaternal. 
Let's see who owns it. Let's see if it says it in their picks at all, because Karenette has it, as, and then they do um, Cureless. But let's see Luxaturnia and Semper Tenel. And then Anti-Natural. Okay. I wish I, I wish I knew who it was combined with, but I think it's with Luxaturna, which is also Sempaternal, which also combines like Sims with anxiety. It's a lot going on. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're hosting an event soon. It's going to be Samhain. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have Ambix over here, and it looks like we have some chokers. And we also have some decor over there on the sides and some nail stuff, Lorette acrylics. And I like the Victorian pearls. This is pretty cool. I like, uh, my favorite are normally like the ovals, uh, or the ovals, the, the balls. But then I also like the teardrops too. They're really pretty. Rounded pearls. I don't think anyone wants to say that they have pearl balls around their neck. <laughs> Maybe they do. We have Easy Prime over here and we have something to attack people with. And it looks like it's like a pipe weapon. Let's see. Easy Prime Machine Gear 720. Four types of texture, materials enabled. I wish I knew what it what it did. Let's go down here and see. I think it's pretty much like a really cool looking bat. And you can hit people with it. That's my thought. Or maybe it's a flamethrower? It could be a flamethrower because I see like warning hazards on it. I have no idea, but it looks cool. Okay, Mizu. We have Mizu next. And I'm going to pause a moment because I'm getting... We're now, ooh, but this is neat. This is so cool. I kind of need something like this. Okay, I'm gonna look at this first before I pause. Okay, so we have a like a little pa uh, pack. It's RMS Azrael bag. I feel like this would be really good for like alchemists and stuff. Oh, it's rigged for Maitreya, Laura, and Adam. So it'll fit two mesh bodies. And you can give it a demo and see how it'll fit your body too. Again, it could be very flexible and work with others. You never know. Psycho bits. Ooh, this is really cute. This is called the Rocket Captain. Oh my gosh. I love how high waist those are. So it looks like it comes with a hat as well. So it has the bodysuit and the hat. And it comes in six different colors. Bon Bon. Oh, I'm wearing this hair right now. And I don't know if I ever want to take it off. Like, I, I'll have to for roleplay, but like. Oh, it's so cute. And it's 25% off right now. Uh, you don't have to have the hat with it. You, it's unrigged. It comes in two sizes, unrigged. And the hat is also separate too. And you can texture both the hat and the hair. And there's also a tinting HUD if you want it specific. If you want it material, you can have that on too. It's, it's so nice. Their new textures are so good. We have pure poison over here. I still haven't taken a break because I like torturing myself. And we have some coffin nails. So these ones are witch work webs. So they have like little spiders on it and they have a bunch of different colors. These work for Slink, Maitreya, Lara body, and Omega pliers. So no legacy, but that's totally okay. There's no mesh nail, it's only nail applier. Okay, let's go over here. I don't even know if I've seen like legacy nail appliers. Are, is anybody making those? It'd be cool to see if so. The RSS bunker. Okay, I got way too distracted with local, so it took me forever to do this. I was talking to a few people <laughs> local. But okay, so now we have the ASS bunker, and this is from this is from Demise, it looks like. And so we have a really big gun. Oh my gosh. Pile action, ten poses, include right and left hand vision. Thank you for that. I'm a lefty, so I like when I see stuff that's like for left-handed people, it doesn't happen too often. No, I hit one of the <laughs> I hit one of the things again. Okay, okay. Um, let's go over here and see who this is, what this is, where this is. Oh, it's like an hourglass epox timepiece. This would really be good for Avi at uh, at Ilonia because he's like the Sandman. He's really cool. <laughs> so it's so neat. Let's see. What does it do? Scripted rotation and hourglass. Triple moon pieces on the knob. Texture effect inside. Animated via script. Cool. That's a lot going on, but it's really cool. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, no. Ah, high ring deal again. Okay, let's go here where we have another dress. And let's see who it is by. Insomnia Angel. Ooh, this is pretty. 
This is really pretty. I wish I had a place to wear this. I like it. I guess I could wear it anywhere. I could wear it shopping or teleporting around. Anything. I like the cuff, the collar too. That's really cute. Maybe that's the color that these people were talking about earlier. Ah, so cute. Okay. Ah, I'm getting distracted. Okay. Two, two, seven, six, nine. Here we come, aka Bawork. I don't think they go by that anymore. I think it's just 22769, but that's okay. I, I still will forever know them as Bawork. But it looks like we have some outdoor decor. So like a police box or phone box. Uh, we have some lights. We have a bullhorn stand. We have some buoys, like land buoys, I guess, or I don't know, dividers. Things to like keep people from going certain places. I, I don't know the word. Oh, and we're at Extraordinary, so we're almost done with uh, the bottom floor. Yay! So, we have this couch over here, and it is so nicely textured. Like, this right here isn't doing it justice, because I have my shadows pretty low right now, but, oh my gosh, y'all, it's so pretty. And it comes in a purple color, too. I think the purple might be my favorite. And then they're not set up over there, but that's okay. So, now we're at the entry point again, and now we are going to... You can see me right over here. Now you are going to go up these stairs over here. So let's do this. Look how pretty this is. They should sell this building itself too. That would be really neat. Like without the vendor stalls in general, just make it like a big ballroom for sale. I would I would happily live in this thing. I'd put like five pieces of furniture in it and just live in it. <laughs> okay, we'll start with Luxaterna first. I love their stuff so much. Let's pause it and let it res in. Okay, so from Lexaterna, we have some, uh, what do you call them? Uh, wands? No, 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 staffs. Right hand and left hand variations for both genders. But what are they called? Ignis, Lux, Lux Aether, and Aqua. But what do they call them? Artificers? Art artillery. Okay, so artillery. Cool. It looks like they have like magical powers and stuff too. It's really neat. Large texture HUD for different options. I kind of wish this didn't cover it up, but that's okay. I also have some glasses over here too. This video is going to be so long. If someone felt like doing timestamps, that'd be cool, but you don't have to. I'm not going to do them. Is this Evermore? Valmore? Valmore? Baltimore? Let's see. VRC mode? Widescreen. Let's see. Oh, Valmore. Okay, so this is the revolver. Then what was that over at the... I don't know, but this is the revolver that I'm wearing. It's really cool! It is so cool. Oh my gosh, there's even like... I didn't know that there was also... <laughs> um, uh, uh, cross... Bow. Yeah, crossbow. That's the word. Finally got it. I paused and I knew the word and then I finally started recording again and I completely forgot. So this is by... I already forgot again. Ah, uh, Valmore. Okay, so that's good to know. I, I like it. And I like that there's like Bento animations too. Like with There's like a bunch of different animations and positions of the gun. You can start and stop it or pick which one. And it, you can also like bounce a bullet in your hand. It's really cool. Who is this by? This is... Um, okay, so we have peculiar things next, and it looks like we have some, like, retro lamps going on right here. Ooh, this is really neat. <laughs> and they look pretty realistic, too. I like them. So they have, like, different, like, magazine-style things on them, it looks like, or monster-themed. Detective clues, spy magazines. Oh, cute. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Ooh, at least like they're like kind of a distance away so I don't feel like I'm doing a zillion things like there's still a lot of stores here but still it's not as hectic for me we have short leash next short leash next let's see what we have here I have some stuff discounted as well if you want to check it out but let's let this res in I'm trying to figure out what it is the contraption oh that's really helpful <laughs> the contraption um, original mesh materials, there's cable options. So it's a capture thing, but what does it capture? Like, how do you get captured? Does it move once you get on it, or...? Hmm. I'll have to try and check it out, I think. Industrial-style bondage rig with props, unisex seats, two submissives, 
10 solo bento animations by proceed. Okay, cool. So it's kind of like a, a pillory almost, it looks like. Okay, let's see what's over here. Wrecked. Already KT wrecked. This item just works with Beleza Jake and Legacy Bodies. Good to know. Still try a demo if you want, I bet. Gentleman's shirt with HUD rare. These are really cool looking. I really like them. I like the like button up casual vest. <laughs> it almost looks like a black tie outfit and then the sleeves are ripped off. It's just pretty cool. <laughs> so that's a gacha it looks like. Let's see what's over here. Looks like we have another dress and it looks like a gacha as well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, this is cute. Oof. This is really cute. Look at that. So this is by double zero, W zero, double zero. Zero zero. Yeah, so double zero steampunk collection. And let's see. So it looks like we have dresses, we have stockings, we have some stuff for the legs, we have some armlets as well, like arm covers and headbands. Really cool. So it's like steampunk meets Lolita. That's really cute. Okay, let's see what's over here. Okay, we'll let this resin too. We have some more canes, and these are from Salem. And they have like, ooh, there's like a snake one, and then there's also, oh, I know there's someone I know in local. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Pi. Oh, I got distracted by Pi. Okay, so this one down here has like a little snake on it, and then this one up here has like, what would you call it? This is Rama cane, but it makes me think of like a goat's head or a ram's head. I guess that makes sense with Rama. But like they have a bunch of different colors and it seems unisex. It looks like it. Unbraked with resized script, 10 poses included, materials enabled. These are really cool looking. Like they look really detailed. It's very neat. Let's see who's over here. Is this, who is this? Rabbit House. This is a new store for me. But look how ruffly it is. Oh my goodness, so many ruffles. Ah. So there's like a corset and a bunch of layers. And I like the little scarf that goes around the neck too. Neck too. It's pretty cool. And the little garter. Ah. Okay. Who is this? Let's see. Reshi. Y'all watch TikTok? I'm like addicted to it right now. So is this Antara? Looks like maybe a pocket watch. A Stara. Aether pocket watch. That's exactly what it is. Cool. It's like cyberpunky. It includes full color pick up, picker HUD for neons. Oh, I like that it has like a, a digital clock on the inside instead of like the little timepieces and stuff. That's really cool. I like both versions. I think that's really neat though. Creative. Okay. It's, whoa, something's moving. Is this Animesh? Whoa. That's really cool that they have that. That's smart. Okay, so this is the Aether suit, and this is from who? I! I love I. Their stuff is so good. This is really cool. Okay, let me, let me zoom down a bit, and we'll get a good look at it. That was so smart to make this Animesh. It's got to be pretty high in Lin Impact, though. Like, Animesh is always pretty high. 54. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. That is so cool. I like the little belly button ring it has. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. Okay, so it looks like we got another gun over here. And this is the Pneumatic Peacemaker. Oh, that's cool. I like that, like it has almost like an air pressurized gun. Oh, that's so cool. I think instead of like a flint, and there's like a, knight, a sword too. Oh my gosh, so much going on. What do we have up here? Let's see. Who is this? Air. Did I even, I, who was this by? I didn't. Okay, this was by. Uh, Aizawa Engine Room. And then this is. Air Morris glasses. Okay, so let's go on in there. In here. Okay, so these are the exclusive here, and we have some like very oval glasses. I like the little string on the edge too, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of the name of it though. Like, not Half Moon, but I guess, I guess they would just be oval. 
but it's cool that they have them out right here too. Oh, the little the little gear is really cute too. Oh. And you can see all the little details in this if it'll zoom on it properly. But he's very cool. And then are we at the beginning already or no? I think we're almost there. Let's see. Who is this? Yeah, we still have a few to go. This is a story of a girl. C C C that does not help me. So what is your store, Kamo? C C C. Okay. <laughs> C C C. Seventh Eye Store. Okay. That's that's all you needed to know. <laughs> that was really hard. Okay. So we have this dress right over here, and there's also another outfit that's discounted. It's very Victorian, which is really cool. Madame Victoria for Maitreya, type 4 colors, 300 each or 900 for the fat pack, so you get like 300 off if you buy them all. That's very cool, too. I like how long it is. I wonder how it is when it walks, because sometimes they like show the legs weird. I bet that one looks nice, though. Oh, yes, this apron. This is the one I was talking about in the beginning. It's really cool. It's like an alchemist apron, and it comes with several sizes, which is really neat. So they have uh, Maitreya. Uh, this is the Beleza, Freya... Venus and Isis or or is it Jake it, this is one of the moments where like I need to turn off my blur this is for Kiro which is really cool that they have that for that shape this one yeah okay Freya Venus Isis and Jake and over here we have Rigged for Maitreya and VTech. And I bet it honestly would fit over Legacy really well too. Just give it a go and see. Because I'm wearing I've been wearing a lot of stuff that's meant for Maitreya on my Legacy body and it fits fine. This is it's not Dun God, is it? Ungod? Dun God? Hello, let me What is what is your store name, please? Poseidon? No. Is, is that their name? Ungod. Okay, so that's like a little arrow. I definitely thought it said Dun God. And we have some little finger thingies. And they have like little like injections, like steam injections maybe? The injector claw. I wonder what's in them. Blood? Five something fangs. Very hard to read. <laughs> but very cool still too. It looks awesome. Are we... Where are we at now? Ah! Oh, I guess that thing moves. That's cool. Let's go down here. This is wrong. I love this is wrong. Oh no. Almost kind of look like honeycombs. What are these though? They're like cells, maybe? They're really neat. I like that they go all the way up to the next neck and you can already see that shine. Like you know it's gonna be so nice. Uh, and they have like a little thingy down there too to show how it looks. But I don't know if I can cam to it. I might screw up my camera again. Yeah, you can see the shine as you move. Oh, so cool. Got goosebumps. Okay, let's see this. Is this a glass cage? Like a BDSM cage? Oh, it's a shower! Okay, so this is Dictator Shop. Uh, PG, Adult Vanilla, and Adult Kink Reser. Uh, three different versions sold separately. I wonder what, like, I guess you could teleport to see the demo, but I kind of wonder what would count as the kink in the vanilla. Curious. Like, is there robes or what? Is there specific fetishes that are very partial. The Stringer Mausoleum. Oh, and these are the hairs. Okay, so we got different uh, like finger tips. Like there's like a dirty one, there's a green one. There's also like a mohawk and we have a moustache. And then what is this? The, mo uh, the mohawk I had to show my friend. I thought that was great. Okay, let's see what this is. Universal HUD works a single HUD that works with all 2020 mesh hairstyles okay so it's an exclusive hair color HUD that goes with all their stuff I like it when stores do that like where they just use the same texture HUD for all of their mesh I think it's neat okay are we at the beginning now uh, I wonder if I passed these I don't think so. This is the kitchen, right? No, yeah, okay, I missed these. So let's go to these then. We have some weapons. Looks like we have another crossbow. We have some guns and we have some sabers. And let's let them res in. This is RQ. 
Those are my old initials. Uh, wait, what is the store called? E Rathus sticker? Oh, Requisition. Okay, previously SQRL. What, Squirrel? Okay, so we have the finicky flintlock. So that's the exclusive unscripted prop flintlock. Draw sheet scripts, light and dark versions, 100% reliable, will not explode. It's good to know. <laughs> okay, and then over here we have, ooh, this is, looks like a really heavy backpack. Um, this is a life support boiler machine. Oh my gosh. Man, I I don't know if I'd ever want to leave anywhere if that's like life support. <laughs> it seems like it'd be really, really heavy. So this is Butanik 83. Life support boiler machine. Oh my gosh. That's so intimidating to look at. Oh my gosh. But also the levers are really cool too. Look how detailed that is. It's awesome. Okay. Almost done. We can do this. We can do this. I think this is the last one. Yep. Yep. Okay. And it looks like we have... Is this like a voodoo doll? It's creepy. That's what it is. Uh, who is this? They have some dice as well as like a little table. I think these are the people that run the Dungeons and Dragons sim. Studio Dyer? Is that their name? Yeah, Studio Dyer. And... They have free hugs and I do not want free hugs from you, buddy. You are gonna give me nightmares. Dolls always freak me out like so much. Like if you if you want to scare me, it's dolls. Oh, and they're like little pieces for their because they do the tabletop. So these are like little pieces that you can fight. Oh my gosh, look how tiny they are. Oh, if only they would resin for me. That would be really cool. There we go. Oh. That's awesome. And that's Engine Room. That's it. Again, go check out Nevada SL if you want to check out the gifts. Um, I think they cover them all. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. If you want to subscribe and like this channel, that'd be really cool, but you don't have to. I understand completely. I think a lot of my viewers don't subscribe, but I don't mind. Um, and then, yeah, just come shop here. It just opened. I will make sure to leave the closing date on here. And it's really cool that some of these stores are also going to be releasing new items halfway through so that you guys got to come and check out the event again. So definitely come do that, and I hope to see you guys around. Also, check out Alonia if you want to look for a roleplay sim. It's so fun. All right. Bye, guys.